One of the top questions I am asked is Anthony, how do I pay off my student loans? This is frustrating. But today I'm gonna show you how to kick them student loans in their rear ends. Bye bye. <laughs> Here's the very first thing that I really want you to do off top, and I'm jumping straight into them because we got a lot of kicking to do today. Number one, there's nothing wrong with moving back home. I want you to think about when you graduate college, or let's say you've already graduated college. You know, I don't want lazy young people around the country. There's nothing wrong with going back home for one year. We need some positive, hardworking, influential young people. So if you go home for one year, this is what I want you to do. I want you to pay minimal rent. I don't want you to go home for free. I want you to pay minimal rent. So this is gonna be like, maybe pay $100, $200 to your mom, to your dad, to your parents, to help with you know the electricity bill, the grocery bill, the water bill, you know the utilities around the house because you are using that up. But while you're home, you guys, you're not home just to be chilling and having a good time with your friends, no. You're gonna get focused, you're gonna get determined, and you're gonna start attacking your debt which leads us to number two, there's nothing wrong with getting a part-time second job or creating some other kind of income to come in. You see, because when you're home, this means that your expenses are low. And if your income can be higher, much higher, we can start attacking the debt. Maybe you have a good job. Maybe you can get some extra hours, put in some overtime hours, get some extra pay that way. If you have a job that you cannot get extra hours on, maybe go pick up a job that you kind of enjoy doing, like a hobby. I know like for me, I actually enjoy cutting my grass. So if I need to get some extra income, I will go actually cut other people's grass to bring in some extra income. Listen to what I'm saying. We are getting focused and we are getting determined to make sure that we're using this one year at our parents' house effectively. To be successful, successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. You wanna go 40 years, get off this vlog. You wanna to go to three to five years to pay off your student loans? Rock with your boy, move back home for one year. That's a great option. Get a part-time job, which leads me to number three. You have to put your goals in right. Now wait, Anthony, how does this help me pay off? <laughs> My student loans are there. I got you. You see, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get on a strict budget. You're gonna write out all of your expenses and all of your income. And you're gonna make sure that every single month that your debt is one of your main focuses because remember, if you're at home, you should not have a car note, you don't have a rent payment, your expenses are low. You shouldn't have any major bills but your student loans. You're working a part-time job, you're getting some extra money, and all of this is gonna go to your student loans, to your debt. And every single week, this is what I recommend, you look at your budget. Every single day when you wake up, instead of going to your bank account, look at your budget. That's something that I'm, I'm getting better at, at budgeting more often. I budget monthly, but now I'm about to step up my game and budget bi-weekly as well for me. If you're looking for a great budgeting tool, there's two things I want you to do. I did a video a couple of years ago about how to stack millions. If you've never budgeted before, I want you to click this link right here, okay? I want you to go watch that video. After you watch that video, click the link below because we have the best budgeting tool in the world called Every Dollar. And I promise you this much, you will love it. It's simple. So watch the video, how to stack millions. And number two, download the Every Dollar app. Leads me to number four, which is, I think is so, so important. I want you to consider starting a business, something that you actually enjoy. You know, one of my good friends, uh, Christy Wright, she has this thing called Business Boutique, and she's teaching young ladies how to turn their hobbies and what they're passionate about into income streams for them. How to start a business from what you really enjoy doing. I want you to sit down and really think about what do you enjoy doing and how can you turn that into a business? How can that business not bring in more income? I'm going to put Chrissy Wright's Business Boutique link below because she has some great resources and great tools, especially for ladies. And here's the last thought I wanna leave with you. Here's the thing to me I think that is the most important. 
it's your mind. It's your mentality. You have to look at this thing like it's a mortgage. And you have to say, you know what? I hate you. I don't like you. You're robbing me of my future. You know, I just recently bought a house and I love my home, but I hate that I'm borrowing money for a certain amount of time to pay off my mortgage. So every single month, I'm adding on extra payments. Ding, ding, ding. Get focused, get determined, and make sure that every, every time you get extra payments, it's going towards your student loans, not towards your hair, not towards a new pair of Jordans, not towards a date, not towards a car payment. If we can do what we need to do today, we can do what we want to do tomorrow. Listen, I want to track your success. So I want you to comment below. I want you to let me know how much, if you feel comfortable, I want you to comment below and I want you to tell me how much student loans you have. And then I want you to update me often. Hey, Anthony, I'm paying them off. Hey, Anthony, I paid this amount of money off. Hey, Anthony, I'm getting closer to it. And one day I want to see you at our Ramsey Solutions headquarters doing your debt-free screen. Like, yo, Anthony inspired me. Anthony made me focus on getting out of debt. And Dave, I'm here today because I kicked those student loans in their rear end. You know what Dave is going to say? He's going to say, that's what's up. And I'm going to be right there cheering you on because you did. I didn't do it. Dave didn't do it. You did it. Comment below. I want to keep you in my prayers and I want to follow you on this journey. It's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. I got to go. You're paying off student loans. I got a mortgage to pay off. Peace.